There's a big deadline tonight for parents of the Fort Bend ISD, and we're also tracking several developments in Houston ISD that could impact your child's future. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is at Roosevelt Elementary in North Houston with what parents need to know today. Brittany, good morning. Good morning. There's certainly a lot to discuss with all of these different districts this morning. It's starting with HISD. There will be a big vote on the future of interim superintendent Dr. Granita Latham. Now, as we've been reporting, Dr. Latham has been with the district since March of 2018. Today, the school board will vote on whether to name Dr. Latham the lone finalist for superintendent, or they could vote to resume the search for another candidate. In a statement regarding the vote today, Dr. Latham and said in part, quote, I would welcome the opportunity to continue to work to elevate the academic, social, and emotional outcomes for all students in our district. Over in Galveston, Galveston ISD now has 2,000 rapid COVID-19 testing kits from the Texas Education Agency. They partnered with the Teen Health Center and they will be administering tests to symptomatic students. The testing begins today. It's free and we are told you'll receive the results in about 15 minutes. Another Another big deadline for students is in Fort Bend ISD. Today is the cutoff for parents to choose if students will learn virtually or in person for the spring semester. Superintendent Dr. Charles Dupree says that beginning Friday, the district will start making the schedule for the upcoming term. He says depending on the response from parents who filed changes to their child's learning format, that could result in some more teachers in the classroom or some students even being shifted to other schools to accommodate for social distancing. If we get too many kids at one school wanting face to face and we don't have the capacity, we're going to look at turning large multi purpose rooms into classrooms. We're going to look at them bringing in portable buildings. Um, as a last resort, we may have to ask a parent to take their child to another campus. So, again, that deadline for parents in Fort Bend ISD is today. Reporting live this morning in North Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brittany, thank you. Remember,